Hello, and welcome to another chapter of a tome pulled right off the shelves at the heart of the Jackals. As always, I am your steady host, Lothran, and there's ever so much more data to relay, so let's get to it, shall we? Go grab a filling meal, settle into a cozy spot and pay accurate attention to Fleet Part 25, Ripple on the Pond. The Zeer broke the arrow clenched in both hands. Make, the speaker insisted, throwing the pieces into the side of the room where they disappeared. Cam bent, placing his bow on the ground, pinching his fingers before stabbing them into the damp grass pulling up a single motion while also grabbing the solid shaft of wood where nothing had been. The pain stabbed into the joints of his legs, the strain. As Cam wheeled the object into existence, he stood drawing the arrow across the bow he'd crafted from resources he'd summoned from nothing. He aimed as he always had, for weeks and weeks of practice, straight at the face of his instructor. Kill shots only. You must be willing to annihilate any chance of the enemies ever surviving. Cam fired the missile, watched it soar through the air, strike into the Zeer's eye, witnessed the head recoil in terror and agony, moving back in just the perfect way to seem real. Cam ducked under the first punch, leaping back with his bow in hand. He bent to summon another arrow. A kick found Cam's stomach. He fell to one side, groaning against the force of the impact, but not complaining. He didn't want one of his fingers cut off and regrown again. Never again. Cam pushed himself back to his feet as fast as he could. He heaved breaths from the air around him like they were as heavy as stones. He managed to keep hold of his bow this time. The Zeer could be anywhere, no longer projecting a false image of itself for Cam to target. He retreated to a wall, aiming his bow and pulling his hand back along it, as if a perfectly deadly arrow had been birthed from the motion itself and he fired the moment he felt the Zeer close in. The speaker revealed himself, clutching the arrow in one hand, the other arm hanging limp and gushing dark purple blood, smiling at Cam. Good. He gestured with his functioning arm, and the entire structure they trained with it vanished. He turned and left. No goodbye. No acknowledgement. The same treatment as always. The end of their day was the end of their day, no matter how well or how poorly Cam performed, it always ended like this. Cam gathered his tools, the most recent a stone axe, the flint knife, his rawhide pouch, a few other odds and ends. Taking a few moments in the cooling night air, he let the world pass him by. What? He thought. He thought he heard something. Dripping water, and behind it, someone's voice, maybe? Cam searched the area, not sure whether Azir was in trouble or not. Not sure if he was supposed to help them, if anyone was in trouble at all. He found no water, no Zir, so he strode back home. He passed a few Zir on the way. Male or female, they simply nodded to him when they noticed him looking. That was practically a joyous shout and a bear hug of utter glee to a long-lost friend in these parts. Cam nodded back, worrying if he had done it correctly each time. But all too soon he was home, and he didn't really have to worry anymore. He opened the door and saw a whisper, her belly beginning to swell. He turned his head away from her. dripping water again. Her hand reached his face, pulling Cam in for a kiss. She took his bow and hung it up on the wall. She'd break it after dinner, and Cam would have to make another tomorrow. He sat down at the table, 
wondering if he was hearing the faintest shouting on the fairest of edges. Whisper grabbed Cam's shoulder, pulling him from his thoughts. He nodded to her and motioned for the small woman to begin filling his bowl with stew. And so it is. Our time together has once more come to its close. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed the tale as much as I have the telling of it. As always, I've been your learned host, Lothran, and this was Fleet Part 25, Ripple on the Pond, another tale right from the heart of the jackals. And now, we must once again part ways. Korvoth, guide them back along the proper path, back to the safety they know all too well. Yes, sir, Lothran. Ugh, a shorter one today, but no less odd. I still don't trust these there, and neither should you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Back to my job. A pleasant greeting and a fond farewell to each and all. Please leave all your comments, questions, and kindnesses down below. Don't you let me catch a single one of you leaving any of that mean road or awful stuff, though. You keep all that malarkey to yourselves, you got it? Remember to like, share, and subscribe to help us learn, spread, and grow. And don't forget that we strongly encourage each and every one of you to stay safe out there. See you again tomorrow for this week's discussion. Good night and good luck. You'll need it. Bye-bye, everyone. <clears throat> Something in my throat. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.